Magandang umaga. Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to another video here in the beautiful country of the Philippines, guys. We are here at the island of El Nido, and it's our first finally clear day where we can take you guys for a proper boat trip. Actually, the last three days, all of these boat tours were completely shut down because of the weather. That's definitely one thing you gotta keep in mind when you're coming to El Nido, is that your days might completely change from what the plans were due to the absolute moody weather here. But uh, thankfully, we're able to at least get in one boat trip uh, many people that come to El Nido, if they have the time, they'll actually do like four different boat trips. There's like, they basically call them like tour A, B, C, and D. And basically there's like different islands in the area that each tour takes you to with all different types of like swimming spots, snorkeling, crazy cliffs, and so much more. So we're going to be going on tour A today. I guess that's one of the only ones that's operating today. And my brother and I are actually doing a private tour. A lot of people, as you can see here, they're doing group tours down there. And so you got both options. Obviously we're paying a little bit more, but you know, we get, we get to have the whole boat to ourselves and basically a custom uh, itinerary. So we're waiting for the captain here. They hook us up with a uh, snorkel mask. They hook us up with uh, a towel. And then we also had to pay like upfront the fee of about 400 for like park entrance as well as uh, some other fee so the 400 is uh, about you know just about eight us dollars so as soon as the captain arrives we're gonna be hopping on board the boat and we'll take you guys with for an amazing day here in el nido okay long okay long anong pangalang mo kuya jobani jobani nice to meet you jobani you're gonna be our uh, my name is mac yeah yeah so jobani's gonna be our man taking us for how long is it eight hours today uh, I don't make sure, maybe, hey, my friend. but until 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Oh, perfect. And we're doing the best tour on the uh, entire island, yeah? Oh. Best tour on the entire island? Yeah. Yeah, perfect, Jobani. Okay, Lang. And which boat are we going to be getting on? Sorry? Which boat? This boat. The pilot day. Right there. Oh, all right, sweet. That's going to be ours. We got some uh, strong waves coming in this morning. From here? I'm from uh, United States. And United you? States. Wow. It's yeah. A nice place, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, You're from El Nido? Yeah, I live around here. Oh, uh, perfect. Perfect. It's a great place to be living. Yes. Yeah. So the boat tours were canceled the last couple days, and finally they're open again. Yeah. Oh, that's great news. El Capitan! How we doing, El Capitan? Good. Anong pangalang mo? Ryan! Ryan, alright. Ryan the king. King of the waters out here, yeah? <laughs> My friends, I want to stop the video for just one moment and share with you a very exciting gift that I have for you all, which is an ebook that I've created for free, which is 10 ways to find cheap flights. I've traveled all around the world to over 56 countries and one of my largest expenses is always flying. And I found a bunch of different websites where I'm able to get the cheapest flights. And so I made a small little ebook for you guys that you can access. If you go to the link in the description, put in your email and then you'll get a copy of my 10 ways to find cheap flights. Thank you so much. Back to the video. Oh, okay. How much are they? That's a hundred pesos. 100 pesos. I think I'm going to get them, bro. Do you want a pair? Uh, water shoes because we're going to be walking through some sure. tougher yeah. areas. All right, yes, please. Two pairs. Two pairs out there. Oh. Tagalog, sir. Yeah, uh, yeah, Tagalog. <laughs> Anong pangalang mo, ate? Pangalan ko po si Apiji. Apiji. Oh, yes, po. Okay, long. Those are nice. Yeah, <laughs> is name of fish. Yeah, yeah. Kalungkong. Mm. All right, we'll leave those with you then, yeah? So we'll find you at the end of the day to get those back. <laughs> Gotta get the bro all set up. Oh, we've got the snorkels already right here. Magkano ate? Yes, uh, already, already. 200 now, sir. 200, okay. 200 lang ba? 200 lang ba? All right. I've got it in there somewhere, bro, unless you got it easily. Salamat ate. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Next time we see you, you we'll be saying uh, magandang hapon. Oh yeah. Magandang yeah. hapon. Magandang umaga. Magandang umaga. They don't see too many. How deep is it? Uh, it goes it goes straight up here, bro. I'll switch yeah. my bathing suit. All right, Jobani. <laughs> 
Gio Giovanni or Giovanni? Gio Giovanni. Yeah. Giovanni. My name is Mac. Mac. Yep. Oh, or nice World Nomad on YouTube. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're a blogger, huh? Oh yeah, blogger. Yeah, yeah. I will check it out. Oh, salamat. Oh. Ha ha. Welcome aboard. Magandang umaga, waters of the Philippines. We have arrived and it is time. Guys, the energy is also back because we've got some sunlight today. Last couple of videos, I was honestly constantly getting pelted by the rain. Also having a great time with my brother, so a little distracted from the videos. But in today's video, guys, we are going full speed on the boat. We're gonna be having a blast. So stick around to the end so you don't miss out on what we're gonna get up to. So we're taking this uh, this type of boat right here, guys. It's exactly what you imagine in the uh, Southeast Asian countries to go on a nice cruiser. We've got a little sunshade here in case it rains. And then we've got these huge, like, uh, I guess you could say like balance beams on the side that uh, keep this thing nice and sturdy. Would, I want to say it's almost completely made out of bamboo that's been painted besides some like long boards attaching the frame right there. And uh, it's got that ocean vibes feel here. We've got a nice white and blue look. And of course safety first on this board. Wear a hold life best at all times. So we got them close in, uh, in range here. Now we gotta put a little sunscreen on because we're gonna be straight in the sun for the next, yeah, probably five, six, seven hours roughly. I'm gonna get loaded up with the uh, sunscreen here. So what, they're trying to get on our boat? Oh. Okay, oh, oh, yeah. We're gonna be like, sorry, it's private, the boys only. This is a bro's boat. It's like the Nepalese rapper, we need some privacy. <laughs> yeah, exactly, we need some privacy. <laughs> you guys need help over here? It's okay, it's okay. All right. We gotta somehow fit this into a tight little space right through here. As you can see, there's a nice narrow space that we've gotta get a, a lot through. So as soon as this thing starts floating away, then we uh, push her through, yeah? Oh, and how does he do that? Just gotta get it right on that side. He's hopped on his boat. There we go, we're going, to, oh, we're, we're riding right on top of that boat. <laughs> there we go, Capitan. And then this side, oh, what are we doing on this side? Oh, and we've now crashed. We're, oh, oh, and we knock, we're knocking the guy with the pineapples over there. Oh, crap. Just sandwiched him between the other boat. And it looks like, all right. Yeah, this is a tight fit. All right, and now on this side, we just gotta sneak over this way. And the waves are now pulling us back in. This is probably the most complex part of the entire tour for the captains. Oh. <laughs> Quite a process to get out of here, isn't it, bro? Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, this is looking good, boys. There we go. There we go. Yeah, let's go. There we go. That's great. That's more exciting than the uh, sports championship game, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, we did it. Woo! <laughs> Magandang umaga. The bro just pointed out the uh, boat we should be on called the uh, Dos Hermanos, which means uh, two brothers in Spanish and probably in Filipino. All right, we are leaving the port here. Goodbye, my friend. I'm sorry, I forgot to... Oh, thank you very much. Captain, Captain Jack Sparrow. Captain Jack Sparrow. Magandang umaga kamota kakuya. Magandang umaga sa And then our uh, chef cook is Chef Taton. Oh, the cook here. Yeah, the king chef. Yeah, king chef. All right. All right, so sir, uh, welcome here in Lido. Thank you Salamat. so much. Salamat. We chose our uh, company, which is the uh, GMC Travel Tours. So thank you so much for that. And then, of course, for your information, so Lido was composed of 45 islands. In some islands, it will be divided into four tours, which is Tour A, Tour B, Tour D, and Tour C. So now we will go in Tour A. All right. All right. Tour yeah. A, take up. That's Tour A. Tour A, tour a. Tour a is the uh, best tour, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because of the big lagoons. So, big lagoons. Uh, Sweet, bro. You ready for that? Sir, so we have five destinations only. So first one, we have Seven Commando Beach, Big Lagoon. Secret Lagoon, Admin Rock, your circling area, and Shimizu, your lunch area. And every destination, ma'am, uh, sir, sorry, uh, we have a uh, time. So, you know, because uh, as a Coast Guard, we have only uh, until 3 p.m., much better we have here in the 
town because you know of the because of the weather. Yeah. You know, three uh, three days ago, our uh, monsoon the are allowed. So this is for the first day to continue the tour, but Perfect. we have a uh, time to to uh, explore. Yeah. All right, guys, we're coming out to the famous El Nido Rock. This rock right here, everyone gets a photo in front of on this boat tour because it is the like definition of, you know, when you come to El Nido or the iconic, the iconic view of El Nido. Bros that explore El Nido together, stay together, bro. As you can see, we are cruising right up to the uh, rock right here. Just got some nice photos from our tour operator. The water, oh yeah, that water feels nice, my friends. <laughs> Woo! We get a nice little splash right over there. Yeah, this is nice. Salamat, salamat. All right, we're, we're racing the other group tours right here, but I think we're gonna take them. And look at these rocks. We're gonna be or these uh, small little islands that we're gonna be going right through. So we're gonna basically have these insanely massive cliffs on on the uh, left hand side of us, and then this like beautiful island with also the most iconic rock on the right side. I'm a bit repetitive here because we're taking photos, and then we're also uh, exploring this place. But it is insane, my friends. Like such a beautiful place to be at. All right, we got our bros sailing right by here. They must be bringing petrol out to the boats. Maybe a fisherman. Dang, bro, check those out. Uh, uh, did you see the island? The one in the middle that is the helicopter island? Helicopter? Because, uh, because the shape is, looks like a helicopter, but you know, uh, some of my guests, uh, when they're hungry, you can imagine that chicken legs. Oh, chicken yeah. legs right there. Yeah. Uh, All right. So we got a nice big chicken yeah. leg right there ready to be chowed on. You can see that in the distance. place to uh, be stuck in absolutely like Gatorade color blue water I mean, this is unbelievable all right seven commandos we have arrived Island chillax, yeah, huh? <laughs> Looks like we have entered the uh, swimming area right here. Yeah, we're gonna have to go for a dip, bro. What do you think? I think we'll be going for a lot of dips today. Yeah, yeah true. All right, when you walk a little bit further down here, there is a uh, resort that seems like it's only accessible by boat. You got a nice bar right there. Something Bellexgo Resort, Bellego? I don't know couldn't see the letters exactly they've also got a reception right here so my guess is the only way to get here is by boat pull up here check in and you got villas right up there that you can stay in so definitely if you're looking for like a secluded experience this might be something unique for you if you don't want to stay in like the El Nido downtown area all right made it to the end of the road then 
see what else we can find down this way. Yeah. I think there's just some cool coastlines all along here. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys, our, uh, our tour is going to go slightly faster than the rest because as you can see, the group tours are coming. And so we're just going to speed up on this one so we can get to the next islands, and then we'll have more of a secluded feeling since there's like a predetermined route for tour A, B, and C, and D. So that's why we're going to hop on now. We got some super cool photos here. Like if you're coming here to get photos, you have these crazy like rock ledges. You've got just uh, such a, a nice place. In the shade, it is perfect. In the sun, it is hot. It makes you want to jump in. So we're climbing back up into the boat. Welcome back, welcome back. All right. And off we go. See so guys, so that's probably one of the uh, group tours right there. I'm sure you can probably do it for like 10, 20 bucks. That's obviously me estimating it. But you got maybe 50 people on that boat right there. And so, you know, that just completely crowds the beach. Which is fine, definitely, if you want to save costs on it. It's definitely a good way to do it. But when you're doing a private boat tour, you want that private experience. So we'll be a few steps ahead of everyone. And we're off, my friends. Full speed ahead. Got our motor easily accessible right down there. She's roaring. <laughs> That's perfect. We got a new captain. New yeah. captain, yeah? Assistant co-captain. Assistant uh, co-captain, yeah? yeah co-pilot. Right. And it looks like we're heading straight towards uh, these islands right here where we're going to be exploring. And guys, there's definitely like huge pros and cons of group tours. Like, right now it's just nice staring in the distance and just taking all the vibes in. And then, you know, like if your intention on a uh, tour is to uh, basically meet a lot of people, then the group tour is the way to do it. Because obviously like, you get that social interaction. But, like if you're just chilling, having a nice relaxing time, that's where private tours I think you're great. Yeah. All right. Now we're starting to hit some serious waves here. But that was only because like five minutes ago I saw a Coast Guard boat flying by. So I made a quick set of waves right through here. Spiced up the ride just a little bit. All right. We are arriving to the next stop here. And it looks like there's a lot of boats already here. So it must be a more populated part. Or just certain tours go in different directions. That part I'm not entirely certain of. But look at these rocks coming in right here. Just absolutely gorgeous. All right, if I were to guess, maybe it's the lagoon over there because it seems like a lot of people are getting off on kayaks and uh, cruising from there. But we don't have kayaks on this boat, so maybe we're swimming in or they're bringing us in. Because we are here to the big lagoon. Actually, this is the outside of the lagoon. So the perfect lagoon is behind that rock. So we have to rent kayak to go inside, okay? All right, all right. a little exercise now straight to the blue lagoon salamat kuya anong pangalang mo anong pangalang mo zakio zakio patio thank you all right salamat kuya who's the driver sir who's the driver uh, Do you go first or? If I can drive, you want to yeah, if you want to drive, bro. Yeah. Driver first? Yeah, driver first. Okay. okay. Turn around. Yeah, we got the driver in place. All right, let's see if I can get on here huh? ah, without dropping the phone. That's a big... ah. Thank you. Straight to the Blue Lagoon. Maganda Umaga. So we're going straight into the uh, Blue Lagoon right now with the bro. Maganda Umaga. All right, don't have a single other good morning from any of the other neighbors around you guys, but uh, take a look. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous turquoise water. There's a reason why Lagoon and Tour A is the number one uh, spot to go because of what you're about to see in just a moment when we go through here. We have entered into the Gatorade, my friends, as you can see. That is as crystal clear blue as you can get. And you just have towering caves on the left side, the right side going straight through here. And it's a pretty chill uh, overall cruise right in here, especially when we got the bro in the back driving. 
All right, it looks like we're getting to a spot where it's pretty shallow. We've got a lot of people swimming right down here. That is like uh, what I would recommend you guys. If you want to bring your phone to some of these spots, bring yourself a waterproof bag because if you're in this area and you know, like you're hopping in and out of the boat, it just leaves so much room for air to drop the phones directly in the water. And obviously the phones are waterproof these days, but at the same time, the salt water absolutely just ab destroys it if you have like any sort of crack or anything in it. So yeah, it is absolutely beautiful though. Wow. Definitely up there with one of the uh, most beautiful uh, landscapes of this type I've seen before. Definitely a similar feel to areas in Thailand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, looks like it's time to uh, jump in. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, good morning. What's up? There's a territorial fish there, and they bite you if you're wearing a uh, cologne from 7-Eleven. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, do the territorial fish exist? Oh, uh, yes, they do. Yes. They're, yeah. they're trigger fish. They're very, very particular. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So, is this the safe area? Is, it's it. All right. Let's get down. Like we're here. We're partying actually. Ah! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh! Ah! That is quite nice. Oh, bro, it's a nice refreshing dip. You sure you don't want to come in? Maybe in a bit. Yeah, it cools off the shoulders here. Yeah, but. Yeah, look at this. The uh, kayak's just floating there. What happens in Pangasinan? <laughs> Leave it there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing beats a nice little swim in between the islands, bro. Chachanito. <laughs> yeah. His middle name is Chillaxin right now. Oh, guys, it's just one of those moments where you can just chill in the water. Oh, they've got me uh, paranoid about these fish. <laughs> but it seems like it's just this little area right here where people are swimming. Oh, maybe all the way over there as well. So you can see just really exotic uh, cliffs right up there that, you know, would probably be in some cases very hard to climb, but when you get to the top, or very easy to climb in some cases, but like when you get to the top very hard because of the uh, sharpness at the top of the rocks. Alright, we got pickup from the bro here. Alright, let's see how we can hop on in this thing. Oh, almost was a crash there. <laughs> Come out to Kakuya. Okay, Lan? Okay, Lan. Ah, Alright, now we're just straight chilling in here, my friends. Ah, take a nap. Cruising through El Nido. Definitely, this is going to be my new preferred way to ride around in a kayak. And it's straight through the cave. Not too many of the tourists have been doing this. And of course, also from the rain. wouldn't be the Philippines without a nice shower of rain. Magandang umaga! Magandang umaga, po! Okay, Lang. Okay, Po. Magandang umaga, Po. We're blending in. People think we're uh, from El Nido. Hola. Alright, looks like. Hola! All right, yeah, we got to follow the rest of the tour. Seems like everyone's fitting straight in that little hole up there. Yeah, the rain is now really coming down. But it looks like, oh, she's about to lose her paddle right there. We're coming in hot, nice and cold. <laughs> oh, we have made it through. Oh, it looks like we've got a nice line going through here. It's a blessing. Traffic in El Nido. Yeah, traffic in El Nido. It's a blessing for the water. It is. Magandang hapon! Not afternoon. No, it's not afternoon yet? What time is it? It's 10.25. Oh, magandang umaga. How's my Tagalog, Kuya? Good. <laughs> yeah, salamat, Kuya. I learned uh, anong pangalang mo? Panglao. Anong pangalang mo? Uh, Anthony. Yeah, Anthony. Nice to meet you, Anthony. Nice to meet you, sir. You're from El Nido? Yeah. Uh, most beautiful island in the uh, Philippines? Thank you. Looks like we're stuck in here. Salamat, Anthony. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go. Guys, there's water droplets all over the screen, so that's a huge bummer, but you can at least get an idea of what it's like in here. This just goes to show you expect to get wet. Ah. 
And all right, here we go. We're passing people up. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Magandang umaga. All right, we're gonna try and do the one-handed paddle. No, nope. guys, I will say, uh, trying to film while going through a cave doesn't work. Just need to get the GoPro set up so it can film. All right. go we're going straight through push us a little bit this way and, and we haven't made it out yeah. let's put it this way we're probably uh, happy we didn't bring our phones now because with or without swimming we're getting wet we're checking out some of these little lagoons here it's such a cool place you can see what it looks like underwater too Just race, Paul. Thank you. Come on, the car. Oh, we just crashed. Want a boost? We'll give him Paul a boost. Oh, we gotta get him a boost here this way. Yeah. <laughs> okay, long. Okay, long. Enjoy. Hey, you too, long. Enjoy the hey, you too, brother. We got a crash coming here. <laughs> and that's good news. GoPro brothers unite. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> oh yeah, very rainy. We have arrived, El Capitan. Como esta cuya? Okay, long. Salamat, cuya. Until next time, stay dry out there. Guys, this is the Philippines right here, out of nowhere. A few minutes ago in this video, it was absolutely sunny, and now it is absolutely pouring. All right, we got the stop number three, which is the uh, back of Semiso Island. And luckily, at this exact moment, it's the back of the Semiso Island right here, and around here we can swim around. Looks like we've even got a guy over there with coconuts. Kuya! 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 Get his fresh coconut, bro? Yeah. yeah, or whatever else he's got. What all What all does he sell in there? Yo! Oh, we got him coming this way. Yo! What does Yom mean? Is his name Yom? Is his name Yom? No, the, the, the guy in the boat. I don't know him. New guy, yeah? New guy on the job? Just ask him. Kuya! <laughs> hey, uh, okay lang, okay lang. Uh, what do you have here? You have, oh, you have beers and what else? Uh, coconuts? Yeah. Smoothies? Uh, soft drinks, uh, ice cream. Uh, ice cream too. Magnum. You want ice cream, bro? Uh, sure. All right, can we have a uh, coconut too? Beer. Uh, no beer for me. No, okay. Oh, uh, two ice creams and one coconut, please, Kuya. How many ice cream, sir? Uh, two ice cream. Magnum. And uh, Magcano ice cream? 150 Magnum. 150 for the Magnum. Almond. All you like almond, bro? Sure. All right, we got an almond. Two almonds. All right, we'll double down on the almond there, Kuya. I'm nuts about that. Guy. Yeah, he's nuts about it. But I'm pumped. And uh, Magcano for the coconut? 100, sir. 100, okay, very good. Four, two. So there'll be 400, uh, just one coconut. So 400 total, bro. You got change for a thousand, Kuya? Huh? You got change? I like your uh, setup. So you just take this thing and cruise around the islands every day? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. He literally is sitting there on the end of the boat, chopping the coconut. <laughs> that is... That is next level skill right there, Kuya. All right, we gotta somehow do a swap there. Salamat. Oh. We got the bread right there for you, brother. 300. 400. 400. All right, he's just swaying around there with a machete Four. next to his leg. <laughs> Five. I guess that's a butcher knife. Alright, salamat kuya. Thank you very much. And Anong Pangalang Mo? Anong Pangalang Mo? Gabriel. Gabriel. Nice, nice to meet you, Gabriel. How many how many customers do you have per day? Uh, 2,000. 2,000 customers. Oh, okay, very nice. So 2,000 probably uh, sales per day. That's fantastic. Salamat kuya. Nice to meet you. Alright, salamat bro. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Right. Guys, we're gonna test out a fresh coconut. They say they taste better when you get them 
directly off a uh, kayak. Oh ho ho. Mazarap! Mazarap! Ayos! Oh, that's fantastic. Bro? World's greatest coconut right here. Mazarap. Mm, very Mazarap. You heard it there, my friends. Very Mazarap. And he keeps this thing ice cold. These ice creams not melted at all. They're in that cooler. Just goes cruising. I mean, what a what a wild job. You know, you literally just load up the kayak. We can tell where he went straight back to after us. Where uh, that's basically Happy Life. That's the hostel over there. So that's a nice big customer base looking for a little snack, afternoon snack right over there. So take you to the Kuya. Let's try out some of this local ice cream. Mmm. Oh yeah. Also Mazarap. Mm -mm, good, my friend. And 100 for the coconut. And that's just under two dollars. So, to be honest, it's it's actually a really good price. I mean, the guy literally has to kayak all the way out here with coconuts, right? So, normally on the beach you'll pay about 50 for a coconut, so about one dollar. And the ice cream is 150, so you know, two dollars thirty cents, something like that. Yeah, I think it's a great price to be able to get this while cruising around. I mean, we don't have too many other options. Mm -mm -mm. That ice cream is incredible. Time to uh, head out and do a little snorkeling. Yeah, guys, normally I wouldn't wear my life jacket to go snorkeling, but since I'm filming right now, I'll take it the easy way out. All right. Ready, bro? Yep. Let's do this. We have the party boat right there. All right. Going in. All right. Oh, he slipped right off there. Ah, <laughs> oh, you alright, bro? Well, good thing I got a life jacket in case you need to hang up. Oh, <laughs> Did you see the blue starfish? Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. You okay? Yeah. Did you see me slam my toe? Uh -uh. Oh, you touched the coral? Yeah, I didn't know it was so chill right there. So I kicked out really hard into it. Oh, careful here, bro. Hold on to be here. I'm about to go straight into this up. Really shallow here. Ah, you guys, normally I'm never one to uh, go snorkeling with a life jacket, but honestly, when you like take a break from looking down at the coral, you can just kind of like chill. I'm just looking up at these caves right now. They literally look like rock that just dripped down. It's so wild to look at. I'm gonna just straight up like chill. Ah, oh, without doing any work, especially after eating a dank ice cream and a dealer's coconut. Mm -mm, good. Hey, our bro. Come out the car. Kuya. I'm just looking down at those fish and I'm like, damn, if I was a shark, that whole school of fish would be so dank to eat right now. My brother must really be hurting because he's just keeping his foot above the water. All right, the bro found his own way to get up. Custom way, doing it the OK Long way. OK Long. All right, we're back at the Caleb J. Been a while. Come on, the car. All right, got the first aid happening over here. Oh man, the bro's got a serious battle scar right there. Oh man, oh man, that's what that's what happens when the bros hang out. This is the good news, we got El Capitan here with a first aid kit. The bro's gonna be nursed right back to health. It's a good thing now we have those water shoes for the next place. If you're gonna yeah. be able to even walk there, bro. Yeah. yeah, that's a serious, serious little deep cut there, too. Yeah. Not the souvenir you were expecting from the bro's trip. Goodbye, Po! Guys, our bro came back on Zonda, our kayaking bro. Brought me a beer. 
Goodbye. Cheers. Come on, Taka. Okay, long. Looks like they're grilling up something dank over there. Oh, oh yeah. Enjoy. Let's smash it up. Look at this, guys. Just moments ago in the video, we were just showing you it was pouring rain, and now it's clear skies. That is the moody weather I'm telling you about in the Philippines. Nothing a San Miguel light doesn't fix, though. Look at these cliffs, though. This is absolutely phenomenal. So, so beautiful. Okay, long. A nice little cove there. I guess people are swimming and chilling. So, guys, this is actually uh, one of the older resorts in the area, and it's like ultra luxurious. To stay there, it's 70,000 pesos per night, which 1,000 pesos is almost $20. So 20 times 70, you do the math there, $1,400, I think my math is right there, just to stay there. I mean, everything's obviously got to be boated in, that's how you get there too, and I mean, look at how gorgeous it is though, like you're in paradise there, everywhere around here is paradise. Alright guys, our next stop is actually to have some lunch here, so we're meeting up with like the uh, main company boat, and I guess they've already done some of the grilling. You can see that like on the back of all the boats. We've got a lot of smoke going on because that's where they're grilling. Then these are some really large boats. They're like a double decker and that one even has a spot at the very top to jump off. You want to get these water shoes on? I'm going to go through the discomfort a little bit. we got the GoPro train going on right here. He's just pulling them all in. <laughs> Keep up the hard work. That's the uh, lounge light. This guy just got his hat on his head. I think he's taking a nice little nap there. Enjoy long. Enjoy long. All right, and here we've got more of the uh, coconut salesmen. Huh? We've got some nice coconuts on there. Some big ones. Maybe when I come back long. Yeah, I did a Google search, and it <laughs> yeah, says it's better to not swim with a, in the <laughs> ocean with the open uh, boat. So I might just leave it alone for a while and stay on the boat. All right, bro. Well, we'll miss you over there, but uh, totally understand. Maybe in an hour it'll be good. Yeah. All right. Let's go. But she's still bleeding. Yeah, make fun. All right. Giovanni, let's do this. Yeah. Oh, you lost, you lost your shoe. Better you use your uh, app this and I will pull up you like that. Oh, it's better? Ice. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's, it's another experience. Ah. Oh, so I thought the life vest thing was because the other people couldn't swim. But I guess it's the standard protocol. It's getting pulled, bro. Oh, man. All right, we got ourselves the green life vest on now. Let's do this, Kuya. Yeah. Huzzah! All right. I will pull up you. Your body just taking us straight there. Let's do this, brother. Relax, lang. Oh, what's your long? What's going on, long? Relax, lang. Oh, uh, relaxing, lang. It means just relax. Yeah. Okay. Is this your first time here, sir? First time here, brother. But definitely not the last. Oh, yeah. What about you? You've lived here your whole life, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, I, I, I live. Like five years ago here. Five years? Yeah. Oh wow. So where did you live before that? Uh, in Taitai Palawan. It's in... closer from here, like uh, one hour travel from here. Today. Oh, one hour. How old are you? You guess. Uh, you are probably 28. Oh wow, grabe. 22? It's yeah, it's almost closer. I'm 23. 23, okay. Yeah. Sweet. Last December 10. Oh, congratulations. Almost uh, one week ago. Wow. You had a big party for your birthday? Uh, I a little bit uh, drenched. San Miguel's, yeah? Yeah, uh, with my friend. Yeah, that's the most important. You got to get San Miguel's going on the birthday. Uh, this is one of the basic uh, tradition. Yeah. For the birthday in Pinti. Yeah, exactly. You know, they wouldn't call it a proper 23rd birthday unless you took down at least 10 San Miguel's. Yeah.
We have arrived. Got pulled straight in. Salamat Kuya. All right, so we got the lagoon right up here to the left. How would you rate this, uh, Kuya? Would you say this is probably like the uh, the best of all the things we're doing? Or what's the best? The uh, lagoon with actually, the kayaks? Actually, Big Lagoon is one of the best. Big Lagoon is one of the best. Okay. So this is uh, up there with one of the best. Best of the best. All right. And also here, this is the Rafferty Yeah, look at this, guys. We are walking up into this incredibly beautiful lagoon. Towering cliffs here and really sharp. Like you can just see if you tried to uh, climb this. Ah, yeah, yeah. You don't even want to hold on to that. Like all the ends are very, very rig uh, rigid and sharp. So here we go. Welcome to the lagoon. Oh, okay. And look at that. <laughs> that is the line to get in. Basically, that's the the secret lagoon. Oh, okay. So, so it's not so secret anymore, yeah? Yeah, it's not secret anymore. When you get there, but now it's still a secret for us. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll do our best and try then, yeah? yeah. All right. Well, let's do it. Do you know the uh, fastest route to get there, Kuya? The fast? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Because you know that is one of the uh, the entrance there in the exit is one only one hole. Oh, only. So we must have to fall in line. Oh, okay. Fair enough. First come, first go. Instead. Yeah. And here the boys are against the fresh coconuts going, and maybe later, brother. That looks delicious. <laughs> oh. Look at that thing, just getting absolutely sliced. After the uh, lagoon, Salamat. We're gonna see how long. I'm guessing it's gonna be like a 30 minute queue, because I think only like, it has the space for like one person to go in at a time. That's what our guy was saying. So we shall see. That is, yeah, so not secretive at all anymore. <laughs> I bet way back in the day, I was like, oh, we found the secret lagoon, and then everyone's like, let's see what the secret lagoon's about. And now it's the uh, shared secret lagoon. And then you know, sir, I hmm? will tell you. Uh, the water inside we will call brackish water. Brackish? Yeah. What does that mean? Because it's composed of two types of water. Yeah. But these times it will be three types, which is the fresh water from the limestone, and then salt water from the sea water, and pea water. Pea from water. The people. Oh, okay. Yeah. So a nice mix then or of all of them. The then, yeah? Ihi. Ihi. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. How deep is it in there? It's like until the hips, in my hips. Like, uh, how many meters can you walk in? This is only there. Oh, you can, I, you can yeah. only kind of look in there? Yeah. Oh, okay, wow. Look at this, yeah, we've got easily like probably 100 people in this whole area. So, uh, it's cool to see, but yeah, it's definitely, uh, especially after, what, three days before this, yeah, no yeah. tours no happened? Tours, that's why it's so the uh, build-up, build-up's definitely happening today. All right, so we got everyone cheering. At least I uh, started the camera a second late. But uh, when everyone cheers, that means the last group came out because it's a massive bottleneck of people right here. Everyone trying to get in. Look at this. <laughs> That's Instagram versus reality, my friends. Cheryl. Yeah. We got the spot, the spa over there, Kuya. Oh, he's getting nailed. We're getting closer slowly, as you can see. The line's getting longer. We're making progress moving forward. Right. Well, very small passageway. That's why it takes a bit. We have almost made it. Yeah, Kuya's getting us there quick. Salamat. Right, as you can see, it's a uh, fight to get in here. We're almost there. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty pretty packed once we get inside of there as well. But this is the small little passage, right? It's probably about like one meter wide, maybe one and a half meters at the uh, at the widest part. But yeah, it's just so funny. Like, it is the definition of Instagram versus reality. It was once a secret cave, but now we found one of the main attractions. But of course, cool nonetheless. But. Uh, Come on, Takakuya! I'm good. All right, all right. Okay, there's a line to get out too. Wow. All right, so line to get in, line to get out, and this is the secret area. It is absolutely gorgeous in here, but as you can see, we get this massive amount of influx of people, and then you got this huge line to get right out. So that's, that's wild. We've got something going on here. 
Some sort of like trust hold maybe, or a photo. Hard to see. So that's the uh, that's the lagoon for you. That's definitely definitely beautiful. I mean these these uh, caves are just towering over. It's got to be like 50 meters up maybe in every direction and some like really exotic looking designs on this area right there. Now once you're in you're like, all right, that was cool. I should already start getting in line for the uh, way back because it's going to take such a long time. So I guess, uh, I guess we'll start getting in line then. I would say like it's cool to say you've been in here, but like if you don't like waiting in line, <laughs> it's probably a full hour round trip to get in and out. Just like a quick cool photo to make it look like you got the place to yourself. So, yeah, it's good though. All right, looks like finally they've uh, figured out the right way to do it. Empty out one side and bring in a new pack of people. We'll see how many more they let out. Yeah, definitely if you're coming on this tour, I would not recommend doing the uh, lagoon. Not worth the time. Skip this part for sure. All right. It's crazy how many people are actually in here. We are sliding through. Hey, we're out, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, we made it out. That is great news. Not worth it at all. I just waited an hour to go in there just to literally get back in line. No worth it. No, like you wait like an hour to get in and then you wait an hour to get out. There's a line to get in and out, yeah. Oh. Not worth it at all. That was literally the worst part of the trip. <laughs> yeah. yeah, guys, if you're coming on this wow. boat trip, I do not so recommend you. This is like this this boat trip, Kuya is amazing, but like waiting in line in there just totally kills the vibe. If you want to wait in line, go to a theme park, you know. But anyways, aside from that, the tour is amazing. Yeah. yeah th th that part's not his fault, you know, uh. or the tour's fault. It's just that simply when a place becomes so amazing like that, after time, everyone wants to go. Everyone wants to get that perfect photo. So like. You know, if you could get in and get out real quick there, it'd be cool to check it out. But like, in essence, like to spend about an hour of your day, 45 minutes, maybe an hour is an exaggeration. You know, just hanging out by the beach, if you're in this area, is probably going to be more enjoyable. What do you think, Julio? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Your body's telling me that uh, since the tours were canceled the last couple days, that's why there's just a large amount of people here right now. But normally it's not like as intense. So, you know, if it's like a five, 10 minute wait, it's worth it to check it out. But you know, if you've got massive crowds of people like that, then that's when I'd say it's okay to skip it and just enjoy the beach. There you go, so that's pretty much it. Like you can see the beach here, you got a lot more space to kind of relax. And I'm sure we've got our guys over there with the uh, coconuts for sale. When you come to this area, I'd say yeah, definitely the, the best part of it. So uh, relaxing and enjoying the cliffs surrounding you. Fantastic, Kuya. Yes. Salamat, yes. salamat. Uh, let's do it. Back to the boat? Yeah. Alright. Wow. The water is so clear though. It's gorgeous, guys. Look at that. You can see my hand perfectly. It literally looks like clearer than pool water. That is uh, what I think I love about it the most. My brother was just, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this. My brother ended up staying on the boat chilling because he ripped his foot open on the uh, coral. So he just, he didn't want to uh, go mess his foot up. And I know he would have completely regretted going if he knew he was just gonna stand there in line for that <laughs> he's gonna be very relieved when i tell him you know don't worry bro it was good that you kind of stayed and uh chilled for a bit oh uh, he's a multi-function businessman he's got the coconuts beers for sale and he's a taxi service back to the boat <laughs> smart man gotta make that bread yeah it's definitely uh, a good thing that we got the water shoes because uh yeah it just makes it a little easier to crawl over these rocks because as you saw just on the cliffs they're super sharp but it's really such a picturesque uh, view right there wow ah, guys we're back to caleb j headquarters aka the boat we have arrived we're back bro bro big i wouldn't you're so lucky you didn't go i wouldn't have gone just for the foot there was a line of like i, I only walked like two minutes away. There was just a line of like 250 people that I waited. The second I got inside the cove, it was another line to get back out. That whole time I was just standing there waiting in line. Yeah. My, so many. I felt like I was at a theme park waiting to go on a water ride. It is not a secret anymore. No, no. It's, it's the opposite of a secret. It's the most well-known secret of all time. 
I'd say like, you know, my recommendation is for other people visiting, it's better to just hang out on the beach in this area and wait in line. I think uh, all tours were canceled the last three days. Yeah. Everyone's out today. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, tour A is the only one you can do. Exactly. So it's overrun. Every boat is out and every boat is here. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's what Kuya said as well. Good point, bro. You've just been chillaxing. Yeah. Living the dream over here. Nice. You know, triaging, working as well. Oh, sweet, bro. You know, work hard, play hard. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. the, the traditional life says you got to work from an office on a laptop. Here you can work from a boat laying there chilling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just like a board piece. Nice. Nice, bro. That's incredible. From the island, guys. That's a good point right there. Cell phone signal at all the places we've been. I did not honestly expect to have cell phone signal everywhere, but we've been lucky enough to be able to be fully connected. You know, for some of you, it might not be in attention. You can still leave your phone away, but for those of you that want to host in the moment, you got that option. Coconut Kuya. Leaving this area, and now last stop is food. All right, looks like we're coming in for a dock with our, uh, looks like these are our Kuyas right here. Right, we got fresh chow being delivered to the boat. We got some shrimps. We got, looks like a big pepper or banana or something. Black bag full of something. And we're gonna get this thing fired up. Yeah. All right, Kuya. Looks like we've also got some uh, chicken on the menu and some uh, delicious pasta. So we got a little fuel we're tossing right on the uh, charcoals in the back and we're gonna get this thing all sparked up with uh, the chef himself. Mm, yummy. Yummy, yummy. In your tummy, Captain? Fire. Fire. Let that baby burn. <laughs> there we go. The charcoal is up in flames now. Guys, we're heading in this direction. Now, since there's a lot of boats out today, we're actually going to a different island to go dock up and have food. So. We've got the uh, grill going in the back over there and we're just cruising a little bit closer back to where we were at at the first stop. And that's where we'll have food. All right, we got the, uh, the uh, slicer right there. Getting those, what are those, cucumbers, Kuya? All right, we got the uh, cucumbers nice and sliced there, ready to be cooked on the stove as we're cruising over. That's efficiency. We got the grill going back there. We are arriving back to the beach here. Yeah. If you remember, that's actually where we started the day. Yeah, that's the Beach. Yeah. This is the Papaya Beach. Papaya Beach. Our last stop. Our last stop of the relaxing. day. Perfect for relaxing, my friend. So. Stop is not too real. Lunchtime. Mm, good. And we have arrived. So we're docking up right here on the beach, my friends. Got some beach volleyball going right there. Looks like a little hut to maybe buy some beverages or something. So we'll have to go check it out. All right, so next up, we're prepping some pineapple here, Kuya. Yes, sir. All right, that looks fantastic. See, an interesting way of cutting the pineapple. Basically, chops off like an L on top, and then there's slices in between there. Let's see how he does that. Okay, so he pulls that out. And then those can all be chopped out. He slides them right back in there. Zigzags them a bit for that aesthetic. Looking good. All right, as they say, I think it's chow time. And we're gonna have it right over there on the uh, beach, it looks like. All right, guys, it is food time, so we're about to hop back in that water. Oh, more of a drop than I thought. Ah, ooh, ee, ah. And the thousand I just had just got soaked. But we're about to feast right over at this table right there. Help the bro out. You want me to carry you, bro? Uh, no, no, no. Let nope. me just, uh. Oh. 
Damn. It is pretty deep though. Let me just use your shoulder and then. Or I can keep fireman's it. carry you, bro. Uh, yeah, hop on. Alright, sure. Uh, oh, I think a, I'm good from here. From here? There's a big. Oh, right there. You see that? Oh, wow. ah. See oh, that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think I might left my right foot off. Right. There's a huge bump over here to get up. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we got the bro up. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. We got the patient back to the land. That's All good right, news. Good, good. All right. Excellent. Oh. Yeah. All right. And look at we got the feast waiting here. Fresh fruits, rice, chicken, seafood, pasta. The flies think they're getting a bite. Get the hell out of here. And some delicious. I don't even know some sort of local fruit or vegetable here. And a soaking wet 1000. All right, guys, we're gonna see if we can get ourselves some sort of like mango drink up at this hut right here. We shall see. All right, come on, Taka. Okay, Long? All right, uh, we got, looks like we got some local options here. Bro, what would you like to drink? Pineapple juice. Do you have a pineapple juice? No smoothies. All right. It looks like what we got on the menu. Coconut, cheese ring, red horse. Do you have pineapple juice? Pineapple juice. No pineapple juice. Flavored. Just like that. Okay. Bro, no pineapple juice. Whatever juice. Only coconut juice and soda. I'm good. All right. Actually, maybe coconut juice. All right, uh, can we have two coconuts, please? Coconut, yes. All right, we got the, oh, that's the machete right there. All right, there we go. Anong pangalan mo? Asminpo. Asminpo, nice to meet you, Asminpo. All right, Asminpo's getting us two fresh coconuts at the uh, local stand here. And the nice part is you can get a lot of different options. We've got beers here, we've got sodas and chips. Yes. And so. Yeah, a lot of really delicious options. Waters as well. Every day you take them on a boat to get here? Yes. Wow. All right, so that's one of the biggest knives I've seen to open up a coconut. Wow. That's as fresh as it gets. Fresh coconut. Salamat, that's one. These are the king coconuts. Filipino king coconuts. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's very enjoyable to just watch it get sliced right off. Yeah, that's a thick layer. All right, and slicing the thing right open. You can see the juice is ready to come right out. Oh, salamat. Thank you. Uh, do you have change for 1,000? Mm. No. Ooh. 120. 120. Yes. Uh, do you know anyone that has change? Kuyas, do you have change for 1,000? Do you have change for 1,000, Kuya? Uh, I don't have a 500, I only have a 1,000. No 500? No, nope. I didn't plan accordingly. Oh, I've never seen the 200 note, that's a new one. Oh, you can just give me 800 back. Let's... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, eight, Okay, there's that. I'll leave uh, that as a tip. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, two strawberries, salamat. Get that thing right in there. Oh, there we go. Sneak that one in there. Salamat ate. Welcome, Thank sir. you very much. Oh, all right, we got them. Here we go. Thank you very much. Wow, she gave us such an inexpensive price, 60 a coconut, and she has to bring them to the island every day. Like, it's really nice that they charge such a low price, but I was like, I felt wrong when they giving her like $1 for like, taking coconuts all the way having them fresh here so 
give her a little more. Some of you might, might not like that, but you gotta take care of the local people here, you know? One for you, bro? Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get this plate loaded up. Of course, we're gonna have to get some of that chicken right on there. Definitely that shrimp. Those flies love the shrimp and so do we. Get two of these big boys on there. Some pastas as well. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a nice full meal, my friends. Mm -mm -mm. Pasta is usually my favorite, so gotta make sure you load up on enough of that. And yeah, this is all uh, freshly made beach barbecue. We have some delish pasta right here. Mazarab! Mmm. Mazarab. Oh, we got a nice strong taste of soy sauce on there. Mmm. It's exactly what you want to have after a lot of swimming. A fair amount of exercise on the uh, kayak as well. And uh, just kind of getting that beach vibe all day. You're pretty active when you're on this tour. Mmm. So it's nice they hook us up with so much food. I mean, they're like, this is enough to feed like 10 people. That's why I was surprised they didn't come and eat. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So that's that, guys. Let's try out the chicken right here. Mmm, mmm, got a bone. That's good, nice and crispy. Reminds me of the type of the chicken, type of chicken my dad used to make on the grill growing up. Just, uh, you know, it's the essence of a barbecue. Or at least what my taste buds feel. Essence of a barbecue is. Mm-hmm. And then we've got this. This big guy. I know a lot of Filipinos like to eat the head. Sorry, the head's just not for me. I don't like the outside shells either, which I know some people eat every part of it. I just like that inside meat right there. Oh, come to daddy. Oh, there's some of the poop from the shrimp inside there. And, mm, there's a lot of poop inside that one. Eesh. Well, sometimes you gotta try and ignore the take a nice big bite. Juicy and chewy shrimp there, my friends. Mm -mm. Mm. All right, now we got some fresh pineapple right there. Hitting the absolute spot. Cody, do you know what this is? Let's see if he knows. Yellow watermelon? Oh, he knew. All right. So I never knew what yellow watermelon was until like a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. And I was like, I did not, I did not expect this to taste exactly like like pink watermelon that I've had in the past. <laughs> it's so tasty. Look wow. How nice they made that. Yeah, they literally made like a rose petal on top. All these cucumbers, like that's just going above and beyond. You really got to take the time and appreciate how much effort these guys uh, spent on making us such a delicious meal. I want to say the cucumbers are soaked in maybe a vinegar. I've noticed throughout my travels in the Philippines that Almost with everything, you'll get a side of vinegar because Filipinos love to have it on their dishes. And it goes so well together on the uh, cucumbers. Mm -mm, good, bro. All right, we got ourselves another coconut here. Let's slam this one. It's the second one of the day, but hey, you know, you got to have them in two different locations. One from a kayak, one from a beach hut with these views behind us. Ah, so refreshing. Coconut water absolutely hydrates the heck out of your body and it's it's great. Now that I've had a second one of the day, I'm just feeling so clean and uh, energized. The epitome of a beach, my friends. Boats, blue water, cliffs, the bro. Coconut water. And swimming. Mm-mm, good. Uh, I'm uh, done. done. Yeah, you're done yeah. to finish? Thank you so, so much, brother. Oh, very, very delicious. We're gonna do a little walk around the island here. It looks like that might've been a sign or a basketball hoop right up there. Let's see what else there is to check out over here. All right, looks like we've got some chickens over here. So they get fresh eggs on the island. I think that's someone's house right over there. Oh, nice. So it looks like uh, this might be the local chilling area over here. Got some canoes or kayaks right there. Even a basketball hoop right there. Let's see a basket. Oh, take two. Oh, take three. Nice job. This is a cool little island. 
there's another hut like right over there and so it's very uh very cozy a great place as my brother was saying to like grab a book and just read and chill it looks like there's even a band that plays here unless that was a wedding or something wow come on the car okay long okay long those uh, fish never got you, did they? Back at the lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> it's you! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, and after a quick walk around, the uh, boys have already gotten us, uh, gotten us all cleaned up from it. Salamat, kuyas. Very mazarab. Very mazarab. Ayos. Ayos lang. Ayos lang. Checking this way, bro? Yeah. All right. Yeah, they've decorated this island a little bit. You got a swing down here. Looks like a couple tire swings this way. And probably an old boat, or maybe, actually no, that's not an old boat. That boat's still in use. This must be the uh, locals' boat, what they take to get to and from the mainland, I would assume. But that's just a guess. And those must be like those cuffs where you can climb the tree. Let's test that out. Oh yeah, that's, that's sturdy. Nice tight rope. Wow. Cool place guys, this is the entire area of the island that you can explore, so yeah, just sit. sometimes I just like walk around and I imagine like you're the only house in this area, like this whole area is your backyard, front yard, everything. Would you like living here bro? Yeah. Nice, nice. You can call him Cody Kuya of the island. And this is the end of it guys, we are heading back to the shore and that's going to conclude a very nice boat trip. We'll see you once we get over there. We gotta find our lady to get the uh, shoes back, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It makes it a little easier to hop aboard. Land ahoy! Salamat kuyas! This is for you guys. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go. We gotta do the jump. Three, two. Oh, thank you. We have made it. Come on, ka kuya! Oh, can I test that? Yeah. Yeah? kuyas. <laughs> okay lang? Anong panalang mo? Salamat. What's your name again? It's a World No Mac. What? With a C at the end. No Mac. No? No Mac. N-O? N-O-M-A-C. M-A-C. Yeah. Okay. World No Mac. Okay, I was just... Salamat kuyas. Until next time. Goodbye. All right, and we are back. That was a boat day for you, my friends. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Such a fun day, definitely the highlight. Just goes to show you why you come to El Nido and that is to obviously enjoy the uh, nice village city center, but most importantly, you gotta hop on that boat. You gotta explore this place. And that's what we did, guys. That's where the video is gonna conclude, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned earlier in the video, head down to the link in the description below and you'll be able to get a free ebook that I've created just for you guys on 10 ways to save money on flights. So thank you so much. See you in the next one.